so hello and welcome back i just kind of mentioned that i was looking at the great power list right now and uh yeah my my development through taking out all of this part of asia has just shot me way above spain in development i am now definitely world number one unquestionably by like 500 or 600 development and i'm about to take another chunk out of me and tibet not that tibet i think has much development but i am about to take a chunk out of them too a very big chunk, in fact. Probably their entire nation. Probably. Where's... Oh yeah, there's my other army. Head down to this part of Tibet. You can go back to Central Asia. No doubt they'll rebel soon enough. What's this? We can do a tech. And an idea. Finished defensive ideas just to get the attrition gone for me and one plus attrition for the enemy. So my last idea group. I mean, I was going to do colonization, but I kind of feel like at this point the whole world's been colonized. There's nowhere left. I'm probably honestly just better off conquering everyone else's colonies than I am making my own. Administrative is probably like the point where that's more useful is sort of gone. Humanist could be a thing, because I believe that like stops a lot of rebels. Tolerance of heathens, and max cultures, separatism, national unrest, religious unities, national unrest goes down, maybe? Maybe a diplomatic idea? I haven't really taken many of these. Maritime. Blockade proficiencies. Exploration, not really a point now. Fast negotiations. Honestly, maybe I should just take naval ideas. I know it's another military one, but uh, is this the last one? It is. I, I think I should take naval, because there's going to be some big naval wars coming up, and my navy's not huge, so it better be strong. Not all rebels by 30. And continue to convert all of Asia to Orthodox, because now we're actually conquering faster than we can convert. It's actually insane how fast I'm managing to conquer all of China now. I want to get into India though before it all fully unites, because at this point it's already looking scary. Right, so we go here. And then take out the capital over here, Rebgong. And they have another army. How cute. Here comes mine, even though I'm like outnumbered here, I'm pretty sure I should win. Oh yeah, we won. I can't be that cocky when I find Europe, because it's not going to be the same. There's no way it's going to be the same. It's going to be a much harder fight over in Europe against their armies. You can go down and do that fort. You're already taking that fort. Oops. You go there. You're taking that fort. You guys. Yeah, you're going up there. Rebogog. And then take the capital of Tibet. Meanwhile, he's going down to Chengdu. Oh, the British are taking him on too. What are they doing? They're in three wars now. Defender against the Papal States. The Papal Tondom Imperialist War. Why is the Papal State fighting in the Philippines? What is the Pope doing right now? Defender against Russia, where they're just getting their ass whooped. And Britain is coming in the British Imperial War, so of course Britain's got to get its hand in there somewhere. It's still going down the Chengdu, good. I probably wouldn't have won that battle before had I um, not dropped their mandate below 50. 
If they weren't taking double shock and stuff damage, then I, I probably would have lost that just. Still would have been close, I think, but it would have been... Yeah, I think I would have lost it. I purely won because of that. The bonus you get against them. We took that out. That fort's down. We've now got armies here once again. Go we'll teach them this lesson again. Yeah, reinforce each other so I don't have to go and fight you all separately. It makes it much easier for me. I don't know what I'm going to call these episodes. Ming War 1, Ming War 2, Ming War 3. Maybe, actually. Oh, that could work. Maybe it will be that. Take that province. You go in there. Go and deal with these rebels. Just gonna finish sieging down Ming as I mean Tibet. And then we can probably enter another piece with Ming, because I think we've taken a shit ton of territory already occupied. Maybe next time I might try and take Hong Kong. Next time I might just declare war on Hong Kong and see just push the Ming and take them. So yeah, that's the last Tibetan province. After this war, I wouldn't be surprised if Ming does actually collapse. If they ming explode, as it's called. Ruling, go take Yunnan. Well, not Tibet, um, Ming. I think we'll just take a lot of this northern area now. We fight over it that often. Apparently even it's sort of expensive to take. Jian. Okay. Let's take that northern chunk. Apparently we can't take that much. Well, I can, and I'm going to. You're going to let me. Or I'm going to make you. That's how this works, Ming. When I give you an offer, it's a demand. If you say no, you die. There's no questions about this thing. This is just how things work now. You are now Russia's bitch. Russia wants, Russia gets. You don't give, you die. Simple. I'm gonna take over all of China and turn it into a great gulag. And throw all of our European enemies in it. Great Eastern Gulag. We'll wait till he takes Yunnan to sort of move out of that region now. So they know they're not really retaking anything. How about now, Ming? You willing to do that deal? No, you're not willing to do that deal? Okay. It's okay. We can take your last few forts, last few provinces, we can make sure you're devastated everywhere, how about that? Take out Canton. How about now, Ming? Are you willing to make that deal? Oh, now you're willing to make that deal, it's funny how that works. <laughs> now they're much smaller. Now, I do have to check. Why is it that I'm not getting my mission complete for this area? Oh, because I need Sarkland off of the Japanese, otherwise I would have this. So colonize Alaska is obvious. I don't own Alaska, so that one makes sense. But I was wondering why I wasn't getting this, because... Acquisition, Expansion East, like this should be mine, and I was right, but it's this. Which means I have to go to war with the Japanese and the Ainu to take this. Which at some point I probably should anyway, because I'd like to kick them out of, you know, Korea, mainland Asia. And actually land troops over here. 
How many ships they have? No, I'll probably do another war with Ming first. Just while they're weak, we'll take full advantage. Because there's literally no reason not to. Probably do another Imperialist War against uh, Hong Kong, which will bring in Ming once again. Yep, and here come the revolts, of course. Can't have the end of the war without a revolt, apparently. has apparently hit Tibet. We got us another military advisor. Convert some more people. And then just finish conquering the last of their land. Or occupying. We're going to end up with all of these. Alright, we'll take our special Russian one now. 20 states. I'm a little disappointed at that, honestly. I thought we had a better one. But I guess not. So now we just got to wait for this slot. So, 27th of August, 72. Okay, so August of well, this year. Okay. That's not too bad. A couple of months. We can chill with that. While we wait... Get another dip tech. And of course my military stuff is also going into ideas, but I'll do the tech first. Goddamn Luddites. Just a peasant revolt. I think it was over here in Asia, it was. We just called the Chinese Luddites. in a new idea. Yeah, I can. Or I could wait until we get 28 military ideas or military tech. Was it October? Oh. Does that mean we've got most of them? Oh, we've got all of them. Alright, Tibet. You're next. Let's actually start with these northern areas. I don't know why I said start. There's no way we're not going to take all this. Although I'm not going to take it all. I'm going to take all but one. Just purely so all those armies they have over here don't become rebels because it's annoying to deal with. But I'll do that. Then their armies won't be rebels, they'll just go home. Don't do that. So why can't we get these two? They must be too far inland. Okay. And for this war, we're just literally going to all go in on Ming. I mean, look at Asia. This is ridiculous. The way I am just taking it. I am literally eating Asia right now. It's utterly ridiculous just how much I can take. So how long until they're mine? 9th of October the following year, about a year. So we'll just chill. We'll just wait for that. We'll spend this like 18k that we've apparently built on the side on manufacturers. And I was going to say coal, but there is no coal. Okay, so are any of these worth more now? 32. So they're a bit cheaper to build. Yeah. There you go. What is my current income? 250 plus ducats. Jesus Christ. I could have an army like 10 times the size right now. In fact, I probably should. I can literally have way more men. I, I should. Let's just make a bunch of armies right now. Just purely based on the fact that I goddamn can. Let's stick one in St. Petersburg. Horse population boom. Well, that's nice. I'm glad the horses are doing well. 
Tier 2. Sar 2. Oh yeah, we might not actually have enough money to do Sar 2s. We'll wait. We'll have the money shortly at the rate we make money. Let's do the next mill tech. So what's this? The Eastern... Eastern Corsairs. Corsairs. How are you supposed to say that? ourselves another general for this army. We'll just let the money build up. We'll go and fix it all later. Kill him. Yeah, do something to help the plague victims, why not? My god, look at everyone tearing into them. Diviets coming in, Portugal's here, Mong Nai's breaking free. They're losing it. They're losing it all. They've lost almost every tributary they had. To be fair, I've fully annexed like four of them now. But they are just losing it. Everything they had is basically gone. They've taken it all from them. Russia has just destroyed their day. Yeah, let's let these rebels spawn, because they're gonna spawn. Just let them spawn and deal with them. So who else is close to spawning? Yarkand, Zuga, couple. These? No, not any good ones. Alright. Well, Tibet's actually taking these out. Tibet might grow. Also, let's go spend my money on these guys. Satu. You guys. Satu. You guys. Satu. You guys. Satu. Now I have a bunch more forces, just in case they're needed. Now let's just go in on Hong Kong. Is Hong Kong still a tributary? It is. And Ming will come in, even under its current strain, it's still like, I will defend Hong Kong. Even if it takes every last citizen in China, which it very well might. Portugal, Ming, imperialist war. And they're just being occupied everywhere. They're being occupied everywhere. It's just nothing is going well for them. I'm really not helping them. I have caused so much pain to China. You're going in on that fort. You're going in on that fort. Well, apparently the Portuguese are going in on that fort. It's getting a bit choppy because of just how many units are being recruited over there. There was a rebel. There was a rebel. Go get the rebel. You can get that fort too. <laughs> They're trying to mount some kind of defense and they just can't. I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually out of manpower too. Ledger... Ming. Manpower. 1,400. We've officially got goddamn Ming to have no manpower. They're out of manpower. They have no infantry, no cavalry. They have like a total of 40,000 then. I have more infantry in Western Europe alone than I do that. A leader left. Let's recruit another. Right, we'll just keep occupying provinces. We'll just wait till basically the enemy gives up. Or until Portugal and that stops sieging them, and then we'll just take more. Hey, look, it's Hong Kong troops. Didn't manage to cut them off. We can try a few times, we've got a few shots of this. <sighs> I 
damn it, looks like they will actually make it. Alright, you go there. Keep siege in these provinces anyway. More rebels. Did you guys deal with those rebels? Seems that you did. Alright, go deal with these ones. Yep, cool. Are there more up here, around here? No, it must be just those ones, that's alright. We can deal with them. There we go, bombs you down. Should actually just cross straight over into Hong Kong as well. Go we take that as well. Make sure that we get it before the Portuguese or somebody does. Dive Viet, which is basically just Vietnam. Yeah, you took out the rebels, just take their provinces back. Burn Hong Kong. Give me that prestige, then go over to Macau and take that as well. I think Ming wants out of the war. I know Hong Kong does. I don't care if we're blockaded. That's not a problem. Do we take Wuling? Do Qingdu? I think Portugal just left the war. And that's why suddenly all this came back. Okay, I just realized that of course we got rebels over here. We deal with them. We'll continue to just pound Ming to the ground. Because that's what we do goddamn best. Apparently. Not quite sure when I became a Ming exterminator, but I am now. Siege of Canton is over. There's some Hong Kong troops. Don't think you'll be liberating that now. Right, so you're done with that fort. Go get that fort, and then that should be the last one other than Wu Ling, which we're working on. Chan. Now we can just freely move around and take him out. these guys. Get them. Good you did. We take that province. Oh we got them. There goes their main army. Got that province. Good. Go take out those rebels. I think Vietnam's also done beating on them. They've taken some of the southern provinces. And I would say they've probably broken free as well, because they don't want to be in the mandate. Because pretty much nobody does anymore. Their great eastern empire has just crumbled. Take an idea, or no, we'll wait for another tech. Always take techs first. Ideas are great, but techs are always better. Almost always better, anyway. So there you go, Gian. He can move north after he's done. Let's see, he can go north. Chan, Gu Ling, Shikwan, just keep taking them, take them all down. This carpet seized the shit out of it, although at this point I don't know why I'm bothering, I can just end the war. Sue for peace. What I should do is take the coastline so that the other 
imperial powers from Europe aren't able to actually take any more, then I can just keep doing it. Is that possible? Can I actually afford to take the whole coastline? Somehow I'm doubting it. Oh no, I can. I can completely cut Ming off from the outside world. I can make them a landlocked Asian nation and then the other European powers can't get involved and then they're just mine to munch at. I think I'll do that. I'll also just take some of these. And you guys go deal with the rebels. Siege them out of that fort. And there will definitely be rebels after all that. Ming will probably also want to go to war with us. So, Hong Kong. Since it's only two provinces, I will just take you straight away. I won't do them separately like I normally do. Just wait for my diplomat. There he is. Hong Kong and Macau. 190 ducats. Russian conquest of Hong Kong. One province they can't do yet because of this. Should be able to do it now. Yep, there we go. Awesome. And continue turning it all orthodox. Slowly but surely we're converting this whole region. We've almost wiped Tengri out basically as a religion at this point. And they got over there Protestant. Why? Oh, because the Dutch Western India has just formed. The Dutch have arrived. Portuguese own Australia. That is disgusting. I'm going to have to fix that. There's a lot of disgusting things on this map. Transoxania. It's like a freaking blood clot in the middle of Russia. I just need to burst it. They're pissing me off. The Commonwealth needs to be finished. The Ottomans, I'm going to have to war like another two or three times. I need to hit the Persians again. Finish off this dotted mess that's Chagatai. Fight Delhi again. I'm glad to see Vigianiga hasn't really managed to push any further. And at this point, I'm flying ahead in development. Of course, because they've just taken like all of the richest areas of China, the coast, and then the northern region here. So, you know, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I was waiting for the tech. I thought as much. Rebels have crossed the border. I'm guessing, yep, these guys. Get rid of them. Oh, poor China. There are you, up there. Go and kill them. Tsar Alexander's the first liberal legislation. Oh my god, abolish serfdom? Why would we wish to abolish serfdom? We like having serfs. Leave it be. We want serfs. That's how Russia lives. We abolish slavery already. We can keep our damn serfs. Portuguese in Macau. Um. Seat Macau to Portugal. Portugal gains Macau's core. The foreigners cannot be trusted. Yeah, they cannot be trusted. Macau is mine. Go away. If you want it, Portugal, we'll be waiting for you. Right here. Just like this. That's one of the last mil techs, actually. We're nearly through all the technologies. Flying batteries. Lovely. Also, we have 14k again, so let's just build more shit. Because that's just apparently what I do now. I build up to some ungodly amount of money, and then I build a shit ton of factories and build up ungodly amounts of money even faster. I also slowly convert the world to orthodoxy. Does Ming even have tributaries anymore? Mong Pai and Tibet, that's it. Mong Pai and Tibet. And what's Mong Pai? Let's see. 
Um, I think it's these guys in the mountain, but I'm not 100%. Wait a minute, bit. Oh no, it's these guys, this little one state mile. Oh, I mean, once we're done with these guys, we could probably go in a Mong Pa and then just annex more of Ming. I do want to do Japan and I want to do a lot of other stuff too, but I just, I feel like right now it would be stupid of me not to take this opportunity to take as much of China as I can. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to have a short break before I have to stream, so uh, bye for now.